Good morning from sunny Bishkek. Today we're actually leaving and not going to be back here for a couple of weeks. So we're actually going for a trip over one of the neighbouring countries, but to get there, we've got a 1100 kilometre journey ahead of us over two days over land, starting right now. So let's get going. <laughs> So first thing we need to do is order a Yandex to the Western bus station and then from there we're hoping to catch a shared taxi to the city of Osh in the south of Kyrgyzstan which is only about a 13 hour drive. Nothing. We just arrived at the bus station. Let's try and find a car, share a taxi, mashuka, anything that can get us to Osh. We just found out that there are no buses that go to Osh and we need to get a shared taxi. Let's go and get one. <laughs> Right, so we're in the shared taxi and it costs 1,300 each, so like 13 pounds, like 12 pounds, 15 dollars, something like that, yeah. We're just waiting for other three people to come so they can go. The thing is with all buses, like my shudki and shared taxis here is, they go in there full basically so you, we could be waiting here for the next two hours we could be waiting here for 10 minutes you don't really know we could have flown to osh it would take about 40 minutes and it would cost us 2100 each but we'd fancy the adventure we might regret that decision <laughs> yeah i think nine hours in or something we're definitely going to hit a wall aren't we? <laughs> and two hours in we are <laughs> In the Bishkek Western bus station with absolutely no one else on the <laughs> We're in the minivan car. What an adventure! <laughs> Patience is key. Four people are going to turn up now. Ten minutes. <laughs> we had a bet earlier as to what time yeah. we would go. We got here at nine and I was like, we got here just before nine. I think we sat down at nine. I said 10 20. Julia said 12 o'clock. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> You've been to. I think it could be 12, to be honest. Tomorrow? <laughs> yes. It's 20 to 1. <laughs> we're crying inside. <laughs> right, so we're in another car, the one next door. Two people turned up, and there's a lady that's been around here as well. And basically, this geezer in this car needs to get to wash tonight and the geezer in the other car doesn't he needs to be back here today and the time's getting on so they've sat us in another car but it does mean we've gone from the nice two back seats to three back seats i'm going to be next to someone we're going to be squashed in <laughs> so, why didn't they fucking fly honestly yeah, no, adventure <laughs>
обычные дороги. So as you can probably tell, it's definitely nightfall by now. We've stopped with about five hours to go. Um, the time is what? I can't even see. It's 10 to 8. 10 to 8. So yeah, we should be getting there about 1 in the morning, we think. So yeah, we're all feeling it a bit now. Just, <laughs> the driver's nuts and it's getting a bit dark now. Mm. We're still on the, the curvy roads for it's a little like a while. Tag is, um, Roulette, the roads are really curly, it overtakes everyone, vans and stuff, but also you have animals it's just coming like, yeah, onto yeah. the road like cow, <laughs> horse, or donkey can come out literally any second. Cow, horse, donkey, lorry, like turkey, <laughs> turkey, turkey right yeah, turkey, we did. <laughs> so, yeah, wish us luck, and hopefully, it's gonna get dark now, so we can't really film. So, hopefully, we'll see you in five hours or so. <laughs> <laughs> Very optimistic, of course, man. you will. Извините, что так поздно. Мы смотрели, что у вас чеки вроде заканчиваются в 12 до да, ночи. Нет, если вы нам предупреждаете, что да? приедете поздно, а, мы все вас ждем. Спасибо. Спасибо. Написали сообщение. Можно Спасибо. Спасибо. Хорошо. Паспорт. Конечно. Один или оба? Можно один. Ага. I mean, look at this room. Good morning. So when we left you yesterday, as soon as we got here, uh, we couldn't speak anymore. <laughs> when we left you before, we had like five hours to go. And no way of a lie, it was five hours from hell. It was a long five hours. We said, we hope we speak to you again. Obviously we are. <laughs> we were good. questioning it on the way, I'm not we're, gonna lie. And we had good reason to, to be honest. Where we were in the mountains got really dark, straight away, like pitch black. And obviously there's, there's no street lighting when you're on mountain roads. And we were just coming off sort of the mountain at that point, And we were heading towards the Uzbek border, where we then had to sort of turn and then go, do a big sort of loop around the border with Uzbekistan. And at that point, the roads... They go, I think they do, they, they told us that they're doing some road works. Yeah. So the roads were very bad, so you couldn't see anything. And um, it was very jumpy. So they, they said that a few years ago, there was a Chinese, uh, Chinese paid repair on this section of road around the city of Jalalabad. And, uh, and it didn't they, last. It didn't last. Basically. It was really bad, they were saying, basically, in, in layman's terms. And, yeah. and they've had to retake off mm. the whole tarmac. So now it's just like a gravel road for about 60 kilometers. So yeah. it was five hours, but I think it was, it was probably longer because of that. We were going at like 30 kilometers an hour for see, people two were hours. still like overtaking each other. It didn't stop yeah, anyone. Yeah, people were driving crazy. And there was dust everywhere because of that. And it was nighttime. So you were getting the glare from the headlights back from the dust. <laughs> and the, the driver at this point, like we noticed it when we stopped with five hours to go. That's why we were like, he, he was looking a bit, a bit knackered. And he was telling us that he's got a problem with his liver. And uh, he was saying, yeah, he's got, yeah, really aching. And he kept grabbing his side. And <laughs> there was a guy in the front who got out in Jalalabad who kept talking to him all the time. And I think kept him busy and that. But then when he got out, I then moved to the front to try and talk to him and keep him busy and I was just talking a load of rubbish to him the whole time just to keep him focused but you could see him bending over and touching his his liver all the time like on the side of his body and, and at one point 
we were going along, there was, there was bits where they repaired the road and we were heading up this road. He was pelting on and all of a sudden there was a lorry there. I saw him wince and he was pelting, he was pelting. I was thinking there's a fucking lorry in front. And I was like, I was thinking that's it. <laughs> and then the last second he sort of braked and, and overtook him. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was pretty nuts at this point. He was whizzing around corners, wasn't he? And when we got within the last hundred kilometres, it sort of all went, <laughs> all went downhill, didn't it? He was on the home stretch at that point. You know when you get to that point when you're doing something, you've been doing something for a long time and you want to finish it but you can't anymore yeah. and you get like, I just want to be done. When that's, you know, when you that's just how he step felt. away, you know, and just get out, have a breather, maybe come back, maybe do it later, you know. He was like, nah, I fuck said, it. I said to him, because when we were, we were talking in the front, I was like, if you want to have a break, that's, that's no problem. Like, we're, yeah, in no rush, we're in no rush to get there. <laughs> we'll probably get there, you know? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> like, if it takes another hour. And he was like, no, no, I just want to get there now. It's been 12 hours. I was thinking, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. in all fairness, we're here in one piece, aren't we? It was all all right. Yes, we were planning to go. <laughs> we were planning to get to Tashkent today. Well, we got completely bazooka yesterday. Mm. So, we're going to film a video in Osh here. Today, yeah, we were gonna do a conflict. We were gonna do it on the way back, basically, after we've been in Uzbekistan, we're yeah. gonna come back to Osh. But now we're thinking we're just gonna have another night in Osh and then go to Uzbekistan because, yeah, we rolled in at two o'clock last night after like a 12 hour journey, but also four hours. four hours waiting at the bus station for the shared taxi to fill up. So it was a long, oh. it was a long day. The lady that was sitting next to us on the, on the back. Okay, so we had in this 16, like, I don't know, plus hours, yeah, that we had on the road, we stopped, we had the toilet stop three times. Yeah. And every single time I went to the loo. You've got to use these opportunities, haven't you? Yeah. And uh, the lady, on the last stop, the lady that was sitting next to us, she asked me, why do I wee so much? Like, she, she just walked up to you and bluntly said, why do you wee so much? <laughs> like, imagine, I don't know what you were counting. If you actually had, yeah, if you actually had a problem with your bladder or something, like at that point, well, actually, I've got serious issues. So, <laughs> I was how? just so taken by it because, like, there is no offer that I've got nothing to say. I'm like, I need to take it down. So weird questions I can ask someone when I meet them. Yeah, never been asked by a stranger why do I wait so much. <laughs> So, yeah. anyway, we're going to leave this video here yeah. of that crazy journey. We were planning, obviously, to continue the journey the next day all the way to Tashkent, but oh we think there was enough there was enough drama in that 16-hour <laughs> shared taxi ride across Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, so, <laughs> cheers for watching. Yeah, see you in the next one. Now I'd rather go with the car, to be honest, anyway. Yeah, it Go to the airport and blah, blah. It's gonna be longer anyway because you have to go to the airport and get out. Blah blah blah. Get blah, blah, blah 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 blah. <laughs> no, you spoke Frank. I told you I'm in school. <laughs>